It has been a quiet transfer window so far in Scotland, but there is one team that is not taking it easy, and that is Dundee United. And after yesterday, they made a new signing, a new Macedonian who's been touted as the next Bojan Miofsky. Well, today they have made another signing, and it is the former Southampton winger, Will Ferry. On a three year deal. Welcome back guys to Fog Football. And the bad news is. I don't know who Will Ferry is. So we're actually just going to quickly go. And <laughs> Wikipedia him right now. So uh, obviously he. I know he spent last season at Cheltenham. I do remember reading yesterday. That Dundee United were likely going to. Get this deal over the line. And obviously today they have gotten it over the line. So yeah we'll see what's going to happen. We will talk a little bit more about Will Ferry in a minute, but the new head of recruitment at Tannadice, Michael Kearney, has promised fans that there will be more to come. So, looks like Dundee United are not sitting back. They're not just going to go up and hope to stay up. It looks like they're going to actually try and maybe follow what their city rivals done last season. Look at Dundee. They spent a lot of money on players, brought a lot of players in, massive turnover. I think they brought, is it 13 players in? alone in the summer window obviously they neglected their pitch we know how that turned out but in the end it was a good decision because they end up getting top six and you know they have a squad now that you expect to be comfortable this upcoming season Dundee United maybe they're going to do the same thing although what I would say is Dundee United have a better squad from winning the championship than Dundee did last season but anyway they're not going to sit back. They're going to go out and make a lot more signings. Uh, let's talk more a little bit though about Will Ferry. So he is he has spoken to uh, Dundee United's website. He says, "Quote: I'm grateful for the opportunity to prove myself at the top level of Scottish football. It's a challenge that really excites me. I've kept a keen eye on the club's progress throughout recent seasons with some of my close friends in football, such as Ross Graham, playing here. I'm looking forward to reuniting with him." I'm counting down the days until we get to work in pre-season and kick on. I can't wait to get started, end of quote. And as for the recruitment chief, Kearney, he said the following, quote, This deal represents the first arrival of many this summer and we are working tirelessly behind the scenes exploring various markets on both home soil and across the continent to continue improving our first team squad. We look forward to announcing more new faces in due course. End of quote. So it looks like the, the next Bojan Miofsky, he hasn't been announced yet, but they have technically signed him. It's just they're waiting on the work permit to come through. So um, technically this is Dundee United's first signing, but really we all know it's their second. So let's look a little bit more though into Will Ferry. So he is, what, 23 years old. He played for Southampton under 21, so the 2021-2021 season... 2020-2021 season, but he only made one appearance, so we can't really look too much into that. Uh, the next season, he got loaned out to Crawley Town, where he made 36 league appearances, 38 appearances overall. Next season, he went to Cheltenham Town. He played the next two seasons, 2022-2023 and 2023-2024, and he made a combined total of um, 82 appearances. For Cheltenham Town, scored one goal during that period. So, I mean, this is a guy that has been playing football. He has also represented Republic of Ireland under 19 and under 21, despite being born in England. So he must have that dual nationality, born in England. He's like half English, I guess, but half Irish, and he's decided to play for Republic of Ireland. Hasn't made any caps, so hasn't made any appearances for the... A senior team, not quite sure on how many appearances he has in total for the under 19 and 21, but it seems to be a decent player. Obviously wasn't good enough to cut it at Southampton, but we've seen last three seasons he's been at Crawley Town, he's been at Cheltenham Town, and he's played the majority of those games. So yeah, Dundee United bringing in Will Ferry. Can't really say too much on whether he's going to be a fantastic player, whether he's going to be a dud, we don't really know right now, but uh, he has a fullback. And he will officially arrive at the club on the 1st of July. So, um, there, there you go, guys. That is it. Will Ferry, new Dundee United player. More will follow, according to the recruitment chief, Kearney. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. But Dundee United are looking to get players in. I think Dundee United will be all right this season. 
and I'm, I'm sure they will get better with signings that they make, but I think Dundee United will be alright. I think they'll be probably outside chance of pushing into the top six. I don't see them struggling the way. I do not see Dundee United in a relegation battle. I think there's a, a few teams that are just a lot poorer in the league, but who knows? Jim Goodwin, he took them down once, so he could probably take them down again. We'll have to wait and see, but Will Ferry, it's officially a Dundee United player, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.